Hi everyone, in this video tutorial we will discuss how to read a CSV file inside a Talent Open Studio. And this file can be downloaded from the given link. So if you see the CSV file, so this CSV file contains 8 columns and they are separated by semicolons and we are going to read it inside the Talent. Now to read this CSV file, I am going to run this Talent Open Studio and I am going to create a new project. So if you don't know how to install the Talent Open Studio in Windows 10, so you can find out the same thing in the video description and on the top. We'll be creating a new project. So give a, click on create a new project, give a name, click on create. And then after that, once the project name has been given, so click on finish. So it will initialize a new project for you with some new location and then you can start reading the CSV file inside your Talent Open Studio. Now once your project is created, so first of all we will be going to the job design. We will right click here. Now we will be creating a job. So for that you have to go to job design. You have to right click here. You have to click on create job and you have to give a name so you say we give a name as csv data read and you can also give the purpose and description so they are optional and just click on finish so once you click on finish so basically a workspace will be allocated to you where you can use the components and now we will be also doing one thing we will be creating the repository metadata so repository metadata is nothing it's basically a metadata which can be reused in many of the jobs so you have you can see an option of metadata here in the repository part so you we will be creating a metadata for my csv file at this particular place so if you just drag it and if you see we have an option called file delimited file delimited is an option to read a csv file so right click here click on create file delimited so give the name and after giving the particular name go on next browse the file from the location where you have the things installed so i have this file into my desktop so i just select it from here i click on open and make sure you select the windows as a format so if you are working with windows just use windows and go to the next now this is basically a place where you define everything related to the data. So like how the data are separated. So you see the fields means the column that we are going to have they are separated by semicolons. So you see they are separated by semicolons. So we also have the row separator how each rows are separated. So if you see here the main thing is the column 0, column 1, column 2 they has been taken as the column name. But exactly the column ID first name for last name address one address two these are the column names so in that place you have to set one of these options that is called set heading row as column name so if you set this option so that means whatever row you have defined so either you have defined first row second row third row so these rows will be taken as a header and these header is basically nothing it's not going to be taken as a data okay and you see in some of the uh, columns there are no values which is present so if you see a csv file so there is no particular values which are present uh, into here so you see there has been no data which is present between the two semicolons so just click on that option give a header and if you refresh the preview now you see the column names will be changed to customer id first name last name address one address two and so on so go to next and here you see the metadata so if you wanted to change the metadata configuration like do you wanted to set as a key here like primary key so you can use this option like uh, we have an option called nullable like do you wanted to have a null value here if you have a date pattern you can provide it here what will be the length of your characters or the numerical numbers that will be provided here and lot of other options are present and just click on finish so once you click on finish a metadata will be created so you need to drag and drop this metadata on the workspace what do you have to do you have to drag this and you have to drop it in the middle 
and it will give you a lot of option like which of the things you wanted to use so with this metadata how you wanted to uh, read this thing okay so there are multiple options like we have an option called t file input delimited so this is basically a component which we use for reading the data so click on ok now see we got the name as regex data itself so the name which we have given to the metadata which in the repository now to see its content we can use a very simple component and that is tlogrow so either you can search that particular component from the palette or the best thing is you can search it inside this workspace itself and for searching left click here and just type t log row and in the t log row just when you click on the t log row you have to change the setting to tab table so that whatever contents you have so that might be shown in a tabular format and we have to make a connection between these two components and for the same you have to right click from this regex data go to the row select the main and just drop the same connection to t log row that's it and now you can run this particular job and for running the job so we know there are multiple options you can go on run button you can click on run you can go on these green icon you can also run the job or there has been a shortcut key that you can use that is f6 and uh, it may ask you something like do you want it to do any changes so just click on ok and you see a jvm will be created and you are going to see your content so you see we read the data which is separated by a semicolon into multiple columns and also you can save it into another csv file so i hope you have enjoyed this particular video so kindly like and subscribe to our youtube channel for more updates and for more learning on talent open studio thank you and have a great day